Today I'm actually opening up a small mountain of mystery boxes. So we have a total of two $20 Child's Collectible mystery boxes right here. We have a total of two Chrono Toys. They call it High Roller mystery boxes. I don't consider $20 High Roller those, but they do. And then we have one $25 Shoe Me Toys mystery box so a total of five boxes so a grand total of was it a hundred and five dollars that was of course before shipping costs it's pretty much like a hundred and round it all up this is going to be like a hundred and five dollar mystery box is of goodness so let's do a chrono toys first and this one i could find it is a high roller mystery box the may 2020 edition it was limited of two per customer, no exceptions. I purchased two. The top hits are the DC Reverse Flash Glow, Marvel Deadpool Metallic, My Hero Academia Ochako Mast, Ad Icons Toucan Sam Metallic, Breaking Bad Jesse Pinkman Beat Up, and the Disney Abominable, Sno Ab Abominable Snowman Flock. Those are the top hits. Does not say how many boxes they made in total. And that's the only pops they say, you know, of course, there's going to be a lot of common ones, probably, and low-end exclusives. So let's do this one first. This is kind of crunched. This chalice box took a beating in shipping. So I wonder if this pop's going to be damaged. Maybe. Here we go. First one, Chrono Toys, $20 high roller mystery box. I mean, whenever I say high roller, to me, that's like 200 bucks and up. Just my personal opinion, like $200 mystery box and up, that's kind of like a high roller box. So, I don't know. Of course, high roller could also mean like kind of a high risk high roller box. 20 bucks, probably most are common pops. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> so, this pop is not in a pop protector whatsoever. So, this is probably not going to be one of the top hits. If it was a top hit worth hundreds of dollars, it'd be at least a soft protector. Here we go, first pop, Chrono Toys. We have, what is this? E the back says Uniyasha. Have no clue what this is. Evil in Inuyasha. I have never heard of this anime. This is the first time hearing Inuyasha. Maybe it's valuable. Let's look this thing up really quick. I'm actually just going to use the Funko app just because of speed, because you can scan the barcodes quickly and find out prices on things. I don't see a date on this to know when it came out. Actually, it looks like maybe 17. What? Funko app says this thing is worth $105. No. Let me check poppriceguide.com. So on poppriceguide.com, this does say it's worth $105. It says it doesn't release until October of 2020. So this is the overseas sticker. So it looks like overseas got this thing like four months early. Wow. Um, of course, once this goes to Hot Topic, prices on this thing will plummet. So I'm going to sell this very, very quickly on eBay. Get that top dollar for it before it goes to Hot Topic here in October, it said, October 1st, 2020. So as of right now, top hit is $105 hit. Not too bad. So direct link down below in the description box to my eBay store if you want to purchase anything. I have hundreds of items listed that you can purchase from mystery boxes, subscription boxes, pallet flipping. I have all kinds of goodies. Here we go. Next one, we have a Child's Collectibles mystery box. This one is a $20 mystery box where the odds of getting out a big hit are kind of slim. They're not that good of odds. You'll usually get out the Child's Collectible exclusive Goku and uh, Vegeta, usually. Here we go with this one. Let's see what we got. If it's any good, we'll find out in three, two, one. Is it good? Is it good? Oh, nice. This is the better hit. We got out the Vegeta powering up Chase. We actually got out a decent hit that time. I think this is worth about 50 bucks last time I looked this thing up. So I've got this thing out of, out of a mystery box before. And it's worth $47. 
there we go. So the first two boxes I got back about $150 and I got them for 40 bucks. So right now, first two boxes, I'm up over a hundred dollars in what I paid. So right now, I'm freaking killing it right now. Let's do a shoe me. Let's see what this shoe me has in it. Let's see if shoe me can top uh, Chrono Toys or Chalice for this round of mystery boxes. This is a twenty-five dollar mystery box for shoe me. There's two pops in here. First one, we've got Popeye Special Specialty Series Popeye. This one's not very expensive. It's pretty much like a common specialty series. And next one, we have Batwoman Pop Heroes. PX Previews Exclusive Batwoman. That's pretty cool. Not seen this one yet. Let's see some value. Batwoman is nine bucks. Popeye is 15 bucks. So these two combined, $24. So I spent 25, got back 24. So the Shumi Toys, I lost $1 value. So right now, Shumi Toys is coming in last. So no matter what, Shumi Toys is actually going to lose this competition because Chrono Chalice has already beat them. So here we go. With the second $20 Chrono Toys High Roller Mystery Box of goodness. So the first one had that evil... Ayanashi or something, 105 bucks. Kind of curious how long the value stays up like that because once Hot Topic gets it in October, that value is going to go down to like 15 bucks. So if you got that thing, you better sell it now, sooner than later. Chrono Toy, is it in a soft protector? Nope, no soft protector. Again, and we got the back says the office. And cool, we got the Dwight Schrute with the uh, CPR mannequin face on it. This actually is worth some pretty good money, actually. I think this was exclusive originally to, was it FYE, I think it was. And they're going for like 30, 40 bucks, I think. And this box is only $20. This is worth $49. So the two Chrono Toys boxes I got for 40 bucks total. I got out this pop worth 49, other pop worth 105. So those two boxes combined with 100 and what, $54? I got for 40 bucks. So these Chrono Toys, wow, those freaking killed it in value. That's kind of crazy. So right now Chrono Toys is destroying this head to head to head Funko Pop mystery box battle. Chrono Toys has taken the W this time. We still have one more Chalice Collectible Mystery Box left. This is, once again, this is another $20 Mystery Box from Chalice. Last one, you saw the Vegeta Powering Up Chase. So I was very lucky getting out that one because most people just get out the Chalice Collectible non-chase, just the common exclusive. So hopefully, gold strikes twice. The luck strikes twice on this one. I hit another decent hit inside the box. So we got the box in the box. We got the Child's Collectible $20 Funko Pop Mystery Box. Actually, they number these box number 32. We got Magic Johnson's number. Will there be a little bit of magic in this box? Let's find out. What do we got? Anything good? Uh, <laughs> We got the Pillsbury Doughboy. This is uh, last year's, um, oh, what was it called? Like the 12 Days of Christmas or the Cyber Monday bundle, whoever it was. Pillsbury Doughboy. I actually had two or three of these from Mystery Box. I finally sold them all off. Now I got another one to sell. That's okay, though. It'll sell. So on the Funko app, this Pillsbury Doughboy is worth $20. So that's not bad. I spent 20, I got 20. I don't remember this kind of a pop being on like the possibilities for in their mystery boxes. That's kind of strange. I don't remember that. Obviously, I guess it was. I don't know. But uh, so that's what we got. All five mystery boxes. The winner on this was Chrono Toys. They freaking. My camera battery just died while I was actually finishing the video. So you just saw me unbox the very last one, the Pillsbury Doughboy pop. And my camera battery just blinked red. I thought I had enough juice left in it to make the rest of the video, but I didn't. So 
Like I was trying to say, to wrap up this video, the Chrono Toys destroyed the challenge this time. They killed Shumi and Child's Collectibles in terms of value. But also had some nice hits out of Child's Collectibles, though. I had that Vegeta powering up Chase. That's like a $50 pop right there. That's a nice hit. I'll take that all day long. So, uh, yeah, that's what we got this time. The head, the head, the head mystery box battle. Chrono Toys comes out on top this time. So, we'll do another one of these in the future. I'll see you again next time. I'm out. <laughs>